The air of dissent that has been simmering beneath the surface of Zimbabwean society has once again boiled over, this time in the form of a harsh judicial sentence that has left a bitter taste in other would-be protesters. To Fadzwa Hapirini, a 23-year-old resident of Chipinga, found himself on the wrong side of the law after he dared to voice his displeasure with the current state of affairs, a sentiment that landed him a three-year prison sentence. Hapirini, along with his accomplice Isaac Chitengwa, who remains at large, engaged in a bold act of defiance on July 15. They chose a location that could not be ignored, the 20-kilometer peg along the Birch Enough Bridge Mount Salinda Road, to stage their protest. There, they barricaded the road with stones and burning tires, a potent symbol of their frustration and a blatant attempt to disrupt the flow of life in the region. Their message, scrawled on placards, was clear and unambiguous. The Zimbabwe African hashtag revolution, Umingagwa must step down resistance hashtag fire for fire, the revolutionary movement hashtag with due respect to Mingagwa must step down the fall of Vision 2030 resistance fire for fire sniper operation. These words, a potent cocktail of defiance and discontent, were meant to be a wake-up call to President Umingagwa, a challenge to his authority and a demand for change. However, the authorities were not receptive to this call to action. Hapirini was apprehended and brought before Chipinga Magistrate Nixon Mangodi, where he faced charges of obstructing the free movement of persons. The magistrate, seemingly unmoved by the young man's plea for a voice, handed down a three-year prison sentence, with a one-year conditional suspension. The sentence, a harsh reminder of the limited space for dissent in Zimbabwe, has sparked outrage and concern among those who believe in the importance of free speech and the right to protest. Many see it as a deliberate attempt to stifle any form of opposition, a chilling reminder of the consequences of speaking out against the government. While Hapirini will serve his time behind bars, Chitengwa remains at large, a fugitive from justice. The authorities are actively seeking his apprehension, a pursuit that underscores the seriousness with which they view this act of defiance.